closing in. Shared, shared rank one.
Yes! 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 Okay, and that's finally the Super Pi 1M record with the Ivy Bridge 3770K at 7.14 gigahertz. That's an insane figure for Ivy Bridge CPU. For some reason, the first core is absolutely amazing on this CPU, but uh, for some reason, this particular CPU does require CPU PLL in order to run very high base clock. The maximum is 113.4. 113.5 will instantly fail even the uh, Super Pi 16K. But doesn't matter. I'm very, very happy about this score. Now I'll try Pi Fast and uh, maybe quick 32M. But 32M will require MEMS on LN2. And I don't have enough of LN2 for that purpose right now. So it uh, doesn't really matter. So let's see what happens. But damn awesome. That score is just so hard on uh, uh, this particular CPU and platform and architecture. So, sorry to uh, Riska, I finally beat your score. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to my uh, most recent LN2 session. So uh, I didn't really make an introduction video about uh, trying this uh, 3770K on LN2, but this is the very same one I already demoed on water, which did 5.4 uh, to almost even 5.5 in uh, CD Bench on water. So uh, I really wanted to see how well this could do on LN2 with my last bits. Uh, that I had. So when it comes to multi-core, I think this particular uh, CPU is a little bit behind the uh, my previous one that died. So when it comes to let's say W Prime 32, the maximum was somewhere around like 6630, 6640, whereas the previous one was uh, up to 6680, something like this. Now uh, when it comes to single core, the first physical core on this CPU is absolutely insane. It was doing uh, 1M up to 7.14 gigahertz and the limit was around 113.5 on the BCLK. So uh, uh, when I set that specific BCLK, uh, I got instant system reset when I tried to put any load on the CPU. So I think that's the limit. So I didn't try the max validation, only 1M, Pi Fast and 32M. The issue is in the 32M because uh, for some reason with this uh, uh, generation or this platform, the efficiency in SuperPi 32M isn't very good if you only have one CPU core running. So uh, with two cores enabled, the maximum is only at like 7 GHz, so that's not enough. So uh, the only like one, the only thing I could still try more is to run uh, just one core enabled, but with hyperthreading. I only tried it brief. I, I mean, I already tried it briefly, and uh, I was doing close to 113 BCLK, but I got a blue screen. So uh, with that method, I could still try the 32M, I think. But uh, anyways, the score by Andre Yang is very, very tough because he he even ran memories on LN2 and so on. So uh, and this particular CPU cannot run like 2600 plus MEMS. So that's quite a big limiting factor if you ask me but of course I could put the memes on cold and try to run let's say like CAS 6 or CAS 5 at 2500 something like this but yeah quite happy so the 1M score is definitely insane and uh, very respected for the Ivy Bridge 3770K so uh, 
If you like this particular platform, then please give me a thumbs up. I only, uh, the sad thing was that I couldn't use the OC key to overclock the system. Uh, when I tried to set any settings on, uh, when I tried to set any settings using the keyboard, which was connected to the OC key, it didn't set anything. So I was limited to the AI suite only, the Turbo V Evo software in the AI suite, and it's not very good. It's quite clumsy, if you ask me, but it worked. So uh, that's pretty much the end. I might do another se I might do another brief session with the CPU on LM2 once again later, but uh, pretty happy with the 1M already. So uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like this platform and if you like these scores, although this wasn't a very good video if you ask me. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching one of my videos once again and I will see you on the next one.